Hi Smart Trailers, it's Lucas from Contrio. Welcome to this channel which helps you to develop your algorithmic trading strategies and increase your profits. Today, I will show you how to easily create an algorithmic trading strategy on the Ethereum. Let's get started. The first thing to do is to install some libraries. So first, we need to install Y Finance to import the stock prices. So if you're not comfortable with Y Finance, I invite you to read this video. And then we install also Matplotlib Finance to be able to plot the candlestick. Then I need to import all this library then i put this cell to be able to have our graph in a dark mode and then we can begin to write our algorithm so first we need to import the data so to import the data using y finance it's very simple we use this line of code and we can specify a lot of parameters like the start date the end date etc so I will just set the store date because I want to have the data from the 1st January 2010 to today. And I have chosen to work with the Ethereum. Then this part of the code is just to transform the date format like day, month, hour into a number because Matplotlib need to have date as a number format. So we use this part of the code to do this. Then we rename the colon. Here is not really important, but I really insist in my course about the importance to rename always the colon using the same syntax. Then I will show you one way to build support and resistance. In my course, I have already shown you two ways in the crypto and the forex courses to create support and resistance. So today, I will show you another way. And this way is also customized in the course Algorithmic Training from A to Z using Python. It will be very easy to compute the support and the resistance using this method because we will just set a support if we have five consecutive decrease in the low price and we will set a resistance if we had five consecutive increase of the high price. So let me show you for one year the support and the resistance that we have created. As we can see, we can have a little problem. And this problem is that sometimes we can create many resistance or support very close from each other. And to fix this issue, there are a lot of ways. For example, we can avoid to display some other resistance if we have already displayed one. But here I want to show you another way and in my opinion a much better way because using this way it will be very simple to work with resistance and support. This way is the fill NA method from Pandas. So it's very simple. When we have created the resistance and the support, we have set all the values of this column equal to none it means that there is no values there are only some punctual value when we have detect a support or resistance so it means that the major part of the values in the support and resistance columns are non values and it will be very easy to us to work with that because the fill na method will allow us to complete all the missing values except the first missing values because the fill NA method that we will use is a method that 
will put the previous non-missing value to each non-value. So obviously, if we need to take the previous missing value, we cannot put a number for the first non-value. So it's very easy to understand. And if you are not really comfortable with that, I will invite you to check the Pandas documentation. And using this, we have this type of support and resistance. So it's very easy to read it. And moreover, it will be very easy to compute a strategy using this smooth resistance instead of the classic resistance. Because we just need to create the smooth resistance and support. And then if yesterday the value of the Ethereum was below the resistance and today the value is above the resistance, then we take a buy order and we take a sell order if yesterday the price was above the support and today the price is below the support. So to compute this, it's very simple. So we use a shift to have the yesterday value. And here I have just put a safety threshold here initialized to zero. But if you want to change it, it's possible and it can allow us to avoid to have some false signal. And then I will take my position five day for each position. And as we can see, we have a very good performance and it will be very easy to test this strategy on different assets because you just have to run again all the notebook, okay? And we just need to change this symbol. So I have not automatized all the process, but if you want to find how to automatize it, you can check my course, Algorithmic Trading, from A to Z using Python. And as we can see, on the period, we have earned $1,624 if we had an initial amount of $1,000. Don't hesitate to like and subscribe if you like the video. It's very essential for my SEO.